Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. The time to say yes to your dreams and aspirations is here. Right now, um, Mr. Fagane is a very good networker. You seem to know everybody. How do you do it? I don't get it, sir. <laughs> you, you you connect very well with people. You know you you network very well. So, what is the secret? How are you doing it? Can I just say a simple word that is just grace. Grace, I like that. Even you said I connect with a lot of people. People looking at me from afar, a lot of people think I'm arrogant. So they think you're what? Arrogant. <laughs> that, that that should be those who do not know you. If they so, come close, or if they come closer, <laughs> they will know that you're a different so, person. So you saying that? I'll take that as a compliment. But I'll just say it's grace, because I know I carry mm. a lot of I carry a lot of grace. I know that. That's that's interesting. I know. That's interesting. So now, so far, what would you describe as the biggest business challenge that you have faced and how were you able to overcome it? Well, the biggest so one ever the biggest one ever for me is finance and banking. Mm. Finance so banking. How have you been able to overcome them or how are you overcoming them or how are you still uh, you know well I, I think the, the way to overcome that is first experience it <laughs> because what what I passed through as an entrepreneur has taken a lot of people's lives people have died mm. yeah, I tell you what I've gone through as an entrepreneur and a lot of people have lost their self-confidence because of that Mm. Actually, they will make you feel that you are you, be, you are an arm robber. When I try. <laughs> and the only way to overcome that is to just keep working, get in more business. First, uh, the kind of uh, work that we do, you don't get. Uh, Clients don't pay you, uh, uh, they don't prepare you. Okay. And uh, when, you, when you see the volume, there are huge volumes. You need to go to the bank to be able to finance those things. So financing is a huge problem for us, for me in Nigeria. Then the second one is human resources. There's a shortage of that, that staffing issues in Nigeria. There's a huge knowledge gap also. Those are just challenges I can actually remember now. But all in all, if you can survive as a businessman in Nigeria, you can survive anywhere in the world. <laughs> I like that. You can say about it. You'd be coasting anywhere in the world as a businessman. <laughs> all right. Now, God has done a lot for you already. What more do you want from Him? God has what? God has done a lot for you already. What more do you, do you still want him to do for you? Compared to the promises that he made uh, to me, he has not even done 50%. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> if, 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 the, if the small thing God is toying with me now, I call it a lot. Well, that means I have not seen anything yet. 
Uh, so, which are the ones that are yet to come? Would you like to share them with us? What did you say? The ones that are yet to come, would you like to share them with us? My, my Bible said, count your blessings. This say, announce your blessings. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're not going to announce them. You only count them. I am. Uh, <laughs> 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 but, but, but which of his blessings can I deny? None. Yeah. None. It's, it's, it's been a wonderful God. Mm. There are challenges, but that mm. is. But, bros, less than 50% of what he promised, I don't even know. So, I've got a long way to go. He promised me long I like that. He promised me prosperity. He said, I'll be a tree. I think we'll be fitting none that. I'm still waiting for all those ones. <laughs> you see, I, I like that. I like that. Now, what, what, what do you like most about what you're doing, about what you currently do? I mean, the business you're into. I like the fact that I own my time. And I'm able to uh, empower people. For information, I, I don't run sodium anymore. Hmm. I have a partner who runs sodium now who came from, he left inside but it's been everywhere, he just said he's going to start running sodium, uh, the best in the area, Guabo. so I don't have any business in sodium anymore and I have competent hands running those businesses I'm able to entrust those businesses to, to people's hands and we are not doing badly, we are doing well even during this COVID so what I enjoyed the most is the fact that I own my time I can use my time to do anything right now. And um, the other thing I enjoy the most is I'm a serial entrepreneur. I don't, I don't, I, failure does not scare me. So if I do this, it doesn't work. I'll do another one. I'll keep doing it. I'll keep doing it. So I'm a serial entrepreneur. I don't get tired. Mm. I don't keep creating. Just keep creating businesses that can, you know, and I know that by doing such, you are enabling some lives also. Interesting. So, what don't you like about what you're doing? The fact, the fact that Bangladesh is richer than I am. <laughs> the fact that they are still calling Bangladesh's name and they have not started calling my name. Ah, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that you have mentioned the uh, Dangote, who are the other successful uh, business people you know that you look up to that you like what they are doing and stuff? Uh, should I be sincere with you? Yes, well, please. Most of these guys, I I take different role model in different fields. So, but number one is the spirit of Africa. Number one is who? The spirit of Africa himself. Okay. Uh, Dr. Mike Adenuga. Oh, I, I admire, admire that man. I admire his style. I admire his business acumen. I admire his, um, his courage. And, you know, he's somebody that I, I, I won't say, but I don't even see him, so I can't say I look up to him. Someone that I, I try to read his manner body language from different people. Another person is my Oga Obong Demere Ufot. He taught me how to be a businessman and a family man. So many other people like that, like even the young ones that are my colleagues, the person of Abelini, Abe Shudibosi, I learned from Abe. Abe is, is a mentor to me. Steve Babeko, I learned from Steve Babeko, is a mentor to me. Ayena Dekunle is a mentor to me, even though I'm his mentor too. And we all learn from each other. <laughs> I'm just saying that. Then I, take, I just take different things from different people. Uh, then Egbon Dele Momodu, that's one thing that I like about him that keeps taking me back to him. 
and if I how much of that here, so I'll tell it to him. So, so I don't have mentor. I just pick role models for different things, and um, okay. I take what I like, and I I roll with it. Hmm. Interesting. Now, what what mistakes must a businessman not make? Well, the biggest mistake a businessman must not make is, bro, giving up. Is what? Giving up. If you lose hope, I'm sorry. That's the end of it. That's the only mistake you must not make as a businessman. Every other mistake is allowed. Mm. Hold the bank, be indebted, don't just give up. Lose businesses. This is going down. Don't just give up. The moment you lose hope, you have lost everything that you have worked for, labored for. The business. Plan. Wow. Wow. I love that. So, what, what would you say has been the wisest business decision that you have taken? Starting my business. Hmm. As in, by the time I was living next to you, I was an associate director. They just give me a brand new, in 2009, a brand new under called Cha Cha Cha. My salary was about 1.2 million. And I left all of that to, for uncertainty. That was the biggest decision. That was the brightest decision I've ever taken in my life. Mm. And do I regret it? Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> I like that. All right, so what, what has been the greatest lesson that life has taught you? Uh, everything you want in life is on the other side of fear. Mm. Everything you want in life is on the other side of fear. Mm. And fear is just a feeling. Everything you want to let up. You, you are a testimony. At least you are my. You are, <laughs> you, are not, you, are my you are one of my testimonies, aren't you? Oh, yes, but we are talking about you now, not me now. We are talking I'm about you. Saying, you are one of my testimonies. <laughs> I'm the one interviewing you. <laughs> Everything you want in life is on the other side of fair. I like that. I like that. Now. I need you to single out one person whose impact in your life you can never, never quantify. Well, I, I don't think I've said this before, but that's my wife. Hmm. Now, tell us about this, your wife, who has made such a huge and humongous impact. Tell us about her and maybe how you that's, met that's her. She remains private. So let us do it. <laughs> I'm the public figure. They <laughs> <laughs> like black wire. Okay. <laughs> so let it remain like that. Aside so, from would, that, would you like? Hmm? Yes. Aside go from ahead. That, go ahead. I would just love, want to keep that private, so she's okay. a very private. Person, so that's I'll, I'll I'll respect her wish. Okay. Would you like to talk about your family? No. Why? Why? <laughs> the the good things I'm married. I have I'm, I'm blessed with uh, with, a, with a daughter, so. All right. So, what's what's your dream for sodium? I mean, we're beginning to wind uh, down. You know, just take maybe one more question so that I can free you. Well, the dream you know, for sodium dream? is uh, for sodium to be an indigenous company from Nigeria to the world. Initially, we started off as an integrated marketing solution company, but now, from that, from that. Other companies have sprung up from sodium. So we want to be an indigenous company who is enabling lives and um, solving problems in Africa. Who is your closest friend? 
And what does friendship mean to you? Ah, I don't lie to you. My closest friend is God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm listening. Yeah. No, because he's the, he's the only person I've not left the space for fights. For every friend that I have, I always leave a space for us that, okay, one day they have a fight, so I don't, as my friend, you probably don't know everything. <laughs> but God is the only one that's my, is my closest friend. I have, I have to make, that question is a wicked question, and you're a wicked <laughs> no, I, I like to, Why are you always leaving space for fights? I mean, because we're all why, human. What? We're all human. There will always be okay. that you fight and something. I'm just saying, You, they're, they're, uh, 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 if you have a friend I don't fight, forget you are not friends. Okay. So let, let, let's let's wrap up on this notes. You have told us who your closest friend is and, and stuff. So what does friendship mean to you? Um can I say this in your Is it possible? What what you would do is you know for the benefit of well, what friendship means to me is simple. Friendship means uh, knowing your friend's behavior and accepting their shortcomings. That's what friendship means to me. Wow. Wow. So, knowing wow. What your friends is and accepting their shortcomings. That's what friendship means to me. Wow. Wow. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Kiso Fagade, my friend and my brother. The man whose uh, slogan I love so much. O-S-M-D. Oyoshi Madu. Thanks so much. Irene. 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 All the time. Yes. You know, it's so nice uh, having you join us eventually. Absolutely. Now, I'm yeah. trying to... Yes, all the wonderful people who joined us, thank you so very much.